All right, guys, so the truck here, that guy, he's with John Cannon. John Cannon is a major builder in this area. He built some massive houses. You can see the size of this thing. Fucking humongous. Uh, this is stem wall construction. There's two types of construction down here. We have monolithic pour, which means the footer and the slab are going to be one monolithic. This, they came in first and put all this rebar in into a footer that's down underneath these cinder blocks. These cinder blocks are centered on the on that footer. That footer could be 15, 16 inches deep or 12 inches deep. Uh, but what happens now is, and I can see that for me, from my experience, there's already a problem. Um, how do you get all this, how do you get the dirt into this slab because they blocked the whole thing in? Uh, I guess they could build a little ramp right here and bring in their grade tractor. Uh, but it's an issue because they got to bring in a lot of truckloads of dirt to get this thing filled up. And what they do is they'll fill it with dirt right up to this level. And then you end up with four inches of concrete. So you got all this room, this depth, which is 16, 20 inches basically of clean fill to put the plumbing in this house. And I have no idea what's going in here. But I can tell you that this is a big ass house. This uh, <laughs> this is most likely where a pool will go out here on a lanai. Um, but uh, yeah, right on a you know right on a golf course. Um, yeah, I wish I would have gotten to show you that one down the street. But see this. <laughs> This needs to be backfilled and you can't get a tractor in here. So this shit's there's gonna be a lot of a lot of hand labor on this one. They'll dump the dirt in or whatever they gotta do. Uh and then get it compacted because it needs to be compacted before you can build on it or pour a slab on it. And then all this shit. This is called marl. And it's a pain in the fucking ass. They I'm sure they found that when they dug the footer for that column right there. But, uh, beautiful. This is what I used to do, man, every day. New construction. And, uh, I enjoyed it. I loved it. But, just, it's a young man's game. And, uh, so, anyways, this is a stem wall house. And, uh, most likely five six million dollar house and i asked him who was doing his plumbing and he gave me a name and i didn't really recognize him kind of all the guys that that i grew in grew up with see this mesh that prevents the concrete when they pour the slab from going down in filling the whole cell but it also lets the concrete go down in here and actually creates fingers to hold this wall from pushing out. Uh, it's a great system. Cinder blocks and concrete really made a difference. Reinforced concrete, and that's what this is, the reinforcement, the, the, uh, the rebar. And what they'll do now is they'll pour the slab then they'll come back and they'll block the house up and as they block it up to the top they're going to twist more rebar that'll go from here up into the beam and it's solid all the way around the house it's tied from the from the footer in the ground right up to the tie beam on the top of the house and uh that's why they don't blow away anymore but look at this place it's fucking gorgeous Anyways, that was interesting. He's already got his, what's he got here? Just his cinder block, yeah. Yeah, these guys, they've got to order shit way in advance, man. Hey, bud, sir. 
Hey, are you guys having an issue getting building materials? Like, you're having to order stuff way in advance? Appliances are still about a year out if you go with like Viking and um, like Thermador and those guys. But I mean just like basic stuff like bricks you know, and sticks. CMU is not bad. Lumber is hit or miss. It's kind of cyclical. Yeah. Um, and then the prices stuff, are all over the place. Uh, as far as like lumber and the futures on it, yeah, they kind of vary. But yeah. You know how it goes, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's always been. A, it's a commodity, and, right. and prices go up and down. The stuff that gets stuck in the boats is the biggest problem. Like right. anything that's shipping from overseas, it gets stuck in a port usually. So like GE has been pretty bad the last few years. That's what happens when we ship all our jobs overseas. But uh, yeah, anyways, are you guys, you doing wood framing or metal framing? Out here we do, so they do CMU block for the walls on the first floor. Right. You know, stick frame. Um, for the second for floor. The second, and only in certain spots. Right. Uh, first floor interior walls, or it's all wood frame and then they fly roof trusses. Right. So it's nice. It's like technically stick frame on the inside. Yeah, the I came here 35 years ago, man, when John Cannon, I don't know how long he'd been in business, but he was working down in uh, Turtle Rock and shit like that. Oh, and wow, that's a long time ago. Dude, yeah. It was I just a long moved, time ago. I moved here in March from Texas, so. Oh, yeah. My daughter just moved to Dallas, man. Oh, really? This month. Yeah. Literally, like two from weeks here to ago. There? No, from Tennessee. Okay. She came. She moved from here to Tennessee, and then her husband got another job promotion, and now he's in Dallas. Yep. But every time he moves, he makes money on the house he sold, and he gets a bump in pay. So right. that's how they that's how they roll these days. But uh, hey, you guys have always built beautiful houses, man. Oh, Is uh, what's the kid's name? There was a kid who used to work for U.S. Homes. Uh, little guy, he was on a motorcycle and kind of he got wrecked. Did you ever hear about it? He went slid down the road. I can't think of his name. Oh shit, 20 years ago. He still works well. He may, he had a good job with John Cannon. Huh, I don't know. Yeah, he's just a little skinny little guy, but he's cool, man. I like him, but I. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. so many, there's been a lot of change uh, at this place apparently. You know, I've, I've only been with John Cannon for a few months. So. Yeah. Last well, there. Yeah, people, people are always moving, especially when the market's hot. You know. Do that? Well, I, all I know is when I had guys working for me, I could fire a guy because he was the worst employee in the on the face of the earth, yeah, yeah. and the fucker would have a new job in an hour, making two dollars more an hour. How's it possible? That's what happens when they're all chomping at the bit to get things done, man. Damn. Is that your house down the street with the plumbing in it? No, sir. Okay. I wanted to see that. I wanted to stop and walk that job, but it's, them guys are out there backfilling already, yeah, man. That's a can. It's a Canon one, but uh, not your. You're not supervising. I've got that. one on lot E12 is mine. Yeah. Um, what? Let me ask you a question. Plumbing. What's the deal with the numbers on the roof of the jobs? That's. I believe that's for insurance. So like the roofer would do that. I think they did it before the hurricane. Oh, okay. Like number their houses. Oh, okay. For purposes. Yeah, the I thought they I... were just using satellites or something for for building. They, they do for yeah. recognition. Yeah, so like the roofers have a new. There's some new software that they can actually do it. They estimate them from. Yeah. They don't even come out anymore. They just use Google. They estimated my house, and I've got a lot of oak trees, and they must have messed up because they charged me an extra two grand for wood replacement. And that and that roofing is just going through the roof. Yeah, yeah it's, it's way, way, way. It's up crazy. Yeah. I paid three times what I paid for my last roof. Uh, it was only 18 years old, a 30-year roof, and my insurance company said we're not going to write you a policy unless you get a new roof. It was only 18. Yeah. So welcome to Florida, my friend. It ain't 